Welcome back everybody, Green Assassin here, and today I am bringing you guys episode 25 of my regrowth series. This pack is available on the Feed the Beast launcher and was created by the Phoenix Lodge. So, last episode, what did we do? We got ourselves a great wood tree. Um... You guys will see I got a new structure over there. I built the mob spawner because I need more rotten flesh. Something like that. Um, not very efficient. Only works during the day. And very basic. Just a water one. Two levels in it. Only too high because I didn't want endermen in it. So mainly going after zombies. So the last episode we worked on Thomcraft a little bit or got into a little bit of Thomcraft. I can't remember what else we did. But in between episodes I've been doing a lot of Thomcraft stuff. As you guys probably seen, I have a pair of uh, goggles of revealing, a pair of them. Um made myself those. Um used the great wood tree, cut one down, regrew another one. You guys will see I have a silver wood tree over there too. That little ring that's right there is going to be my Thomcraft area. Um, let's just run over here and take a quick peek at this. Probably not even running right now because it's nighttime and I found... And it's like way out here so I'll probably have to do a bunch of AFKing over here to get things to actually spawn. So I'm just, like I said, I'm only worried about this rotten flesh, so... There's a hopper hawk underneath it pumping everything into either the chests or into the barrels. Not very, like, sorted out, whatever you want to call it. I gotta constantly come over here and play with it and get everything back in order, so. But yeah, let's, um, go take a look over here and show you guys. I haven't really done much with the Thumbcraft area yet. I was just kind of building it to get an idea where I wanted it. I gotta move that node too, because it's like right there, so. I'm getting ready to set up an infusion crafting altar. I got all the pieces ready for it, crafted all that stuff off camera. I did most of the thumb craft stuff off camera, so I just didn't want to bore you guys with all the research and scanning of items. Like, um, Actually, if I didn't do it in the last video, um, I have two websites that if I remember to link them, I'll link them in the description. One of them is like a cheat sheet to scan the items to get all the different, to be able to scan anything the quickest way. And then the other one will be for doing your research notes. Basically what it does is it makes it so that you can, when you put a research note in here, you can put in the two aspects that you're looking for and it will show you how to link them the cheapest way. So I will try and link those into the description. If I forget, I'm very sorry you guys. Um, I put these bookshelves around and some crystals on here and a tiny potato because I heard all this stuff helps you generate aspects in here and that's why these are all shining. I don't know exactly which one's doing it. But this is what I've seen other people do, so I figured I'd try all three of them together. I highly doubt, well, it could be this guy, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, just kind of gained some aspects here and there, like um, probably about an hour before I started recording. I only had 21 air, and now I'm up to 26. So yeah, it kind of helps out a little bit. Um, I got... A crucible over in the corner right now. I've made a few things like some night tour, some thomium, um, some arcane stone. I've made the robes from witchcraft or thomcraft, sorry, to get the cheaper vis discount uh, when you're doing stuff in the arcane work table. Um, what else have I done? I think that's pretty much it. Most of it was just Thomcraft related stuff besides building the mob spawner. Um, ooh. Where did you come from? Uh, 
I totally forgot about those little heads. Um, let's press F7. Where did you come from? Right there. Really? One square and you spawn. Okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, you guys will notice I rearranged some stuff over here. Um, these are infernal bricks. There's something in Thomcraft that I want to try and use. Um, i seen it on one of Funshine X's videos. And it seems like it's going to work a lot better for what I want to make titanium. Um, just moved the blast furnace back and added another cold coke oven. I don't know if I'm actually going to use this setup, but we'll see. So, um, ran out of glass trying to put in the window. Um, let's sleep quickly. And yeah, let's take a look at the questing book. Because I think I have some quests that I forgot to turn in last episode. Because we completed some quests and I forgot to turn them in. So we got 10 unclaimed quests. There's two in here. These two are the ones that I forgot to claim last episode. So for all the elementium armor and the terror shatter or terror blade, we get a green heart and a flask of fortune. So we will claim that one. Resistant. Oh, fortitude. Sorry. Um, let's put on our green heart. I could have swore I had some. Red heart canisters, but apparently not. Um, this one we get eight more sparks and a stack of dream wood, and this is just basically all your different types of sparks. You had to craft one of each, and a spark. This will should tell you how to use them, if I'm not mistaken. I just used the Britannia book in order to find the ones that I wanted. So, yeah. Um, so let's claim that one. And now, this one wants us to fight the Wither, so yeah, the Wither boss fight is going to be coming up soon. Nothing, oh yeah, no, we do have one in here. This is the one I forgot to claim. I made the distilling book. So we get a book, 16 drops, and 4 slime balls. And then I need to unlock a quest elsewhere to complete that one. 95, nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing in there, and Thongcraft, the way the world feels. So, in here, I wanted us to, we did the Great Wood one, we get three Great Wood, 16 Longs, I'm pretty sure I claimed that one with you guys, an Iron Cap Wand, um, Crucible, and, oh, I'm not that far yet, but I've already got it crafted. So, magic plus metal, you have luck. You've had luck infusing iron with mana to create mana steel previously, so you wonder if there's a similar feat. A similar feat can be performed with the Percantio aspect in the Crucible. Some research may be required. Making things in the crucible requires dropping in the items which contain the aspects necessary. Then once all the aspects are dropped in, are in, drop in the catalyst item to transform it into the product. So I wanted you to make five thomium ingots. We get a thomium tool rod and a thomium ingot. So we'll claim that reward. Niter, while lava is certainly efficient at heating the water in the crucible, it also has a tendency of setting nearby stuff on fire. What would be incredibly useful would be incredibly useful would be if you could develop a magical flame that would emit heat and light, yet would not burn anything. Not only does Niter make an excellent heat source for the crucible but it makes a rather pretty little floating light source too as always don't forget you will need to do some research before attempting to craft niter so we get 10 more niter for that 
Um, very easy recipes. This one was just some Procantio in the Crucible and Iron, I think. Um, this one was some coal, some torches, and some glowstone. Um, this one wanted a silverwood sapling, so the majest majesty of the of the great wood. Okay, trees are unrevealed. Yet you wonder what might result if you further steep their saplings into magic. So basically just wanted a silver wood sapling. I already grew one. Um, that's not the right button. So we'll claim that reward. And as I look down at the time, reading all these is taking up way too much time. So we're just going to quickly go through these. Um, this one wanted first to craft three tables. Two for the research table, one for the arcane workbench and a scribing tool so I crafted those and then next I wanted you to turn the one of the tables into the arcane workbench and we get four common treasure bags for that and then I wanted a great wood or a gold banded great wood wand which was easy enough once you do the research um just two great wood logs and about 10 golden nuggets gets you that Ooh, we get two aura nodes for that Sweet. We'll claim that reward. How full's my inventory? Full. So let's dump some stuff in here that I do not need at the moment. Don't need that stuff. Don't need that stuff. Cool. Back into here. The goggles of revealing. Very easy. Just um, two of those thermometers. I call them thermometers. Uh, that's the little scanny thing. Four pieces of leather, leather and two golden or gold ingots. We get a common treasure for this. This one, um, once you have the goggles of revealing, you will end up with the node tracker thing, and that's what this side is basically telling you. Um, once you've scanned a node with your thermometer. It will be added to a list you can view by pressing I, rebindable in controls. This list shows all nodes you've scanned if wearing the goggles of revealing. So basically the way that works, let's claim that because we get four common treasures. If I hit I, <clears throat> these are all the overworld nodes that I've scanned and I can mark them. And you'll notice there's that little compass up in the top. It'll point at the direction that it is, in what direction it is. Um, press I again, I can clear the arrow. Oh, that takes you out too. But basically you can track your nodes by um, where they are, the distance, what type of node they are. Apparently these ones are bright. I think that's what the B stands for. That one's a fading. I know that much. Um, but yeah, and then it'll show you what it's got in it for aspects. Your basic aspects. At Oh, and you can click on these to sort them by. Cool. Oh yeah, normal, unstable, dark, tainted, hungry, pure. It doesn't say what B stands for, though. B's got to be a bright. Um, so, yeah, and then it's got all your different dimensions in it. Nether, Spirit World, Torment, Outer Lands, the End, the Overworld, blah, blah, blah. The Outer Lands. I wonder what the Outer Lands is. That must be, like, witchcraft stuff, maybe. So that's a really cool feature. I really like that. It makes it a lot easier to find your nodes when you need to charge your wand. Um, go back into the questing book. We got one more to claim. This was for the robes. We get three uncommon treasures. And yeah. So what do we got left in here? We got the breakdown, which I'm working towards now. That's why I grew that silverwood tree. 
And we have a foci. It wants us to make a one focus of shock. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, and then next it looks like it's going into infusion crafting. And then this, I don't know what this is. This is like optometry or whatever it's called. But I found that stuff under, not that menu, this menu, Auto Meiji. Um, so yeah, there's these red crystals. I haven't researched them yet. So I will have to do that in between episodes and take a look at those and see what those are all about. Um... I'm just kind of quickly go over the researches that I did to show you guys. I did the research expertise, which is like one of the first ones I always do. And then mastery, it gives you a little bit of warp, but it says it's mostly harmless. So I wasn't too worried about that. And then I did advanced node tapping, master node tapping, and node preserver. That's pretty much it in there for now. Over here, I did the caps. Three different types of wand caps. Um, I did the silverwood wand core, and I did the great wood wand core in here. Basically, unlock this whole area because this is one of those things that I'm gonna want to do. And then, yeah, I just unlocked the metal one, and that was pretty much it. Artifice, I unlocked this because this is one of the things that I needed in order to progress with this episode. So there's that one, the Infernal Furnace, fairly easy to get. Um, I did the Arcane Stones, I did the Goggles of Revealing, the Enchanted Fabric, Infusion Crafting. I do want to do the Magic Mirrors because I want to use those this time around. Gullamancy, I did quite a bit in. Just got your basic stuff in Gullamancy. Just because I plan on using them for harvesting. So, there's that. Haven't really done anything there. There, there. Nothing there. I did do a couple things in here. I did these two gem cutting. I don't understand what those are for. I didn't really read them yet, so I'll check them out in between episodes or off camera type thing. But the Infernal Blast Furnace is the one that I was mainly after. I'm not going to read this for you guys. You guys can read it on your own. Um, but basically, you take a whole bunch of Infernal Bricks, some Lava, and some Stairs. Stair blocks at the top actually need to face towards the middle block. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I did that right. And then we need 50 aspect of Ignis, Terra, and Prudentio. No. Per, I don't know. Whatever. So. But that is what I've got built over here. Let's open our treasures first. See what we got. Some gold coins. Apprentice Ring of Ignis and Terra. Cool. A diamond. That's always cool. Emerald, chest plate, and an ender pearl. Cool. Some more rings. That one's of air. Ooh, an enchanted book. Wrecking 2. And knowledge fragment. Just a bunch of junk. We got me a potion. That one just sounded like coins. 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 Gold. Coins. Ooh, that one got me a lot of coins. Cool. There's a bunch of stuff on the ground. So... Whoops. That was a splash potion. Don't recommend throwing those on the ground in front of you. So let's dump off that stuff. Go pick up this stuff. Throw it in this chest. I need an empty chest. Let's just use the improved copper ones for right now. 
And I have two buckets on me. I only need one for right now, though. Because I can only afford to convert one of these. Do I have any blocks on me? Yes, I do. So let's go in here and we'll set one of these up and check it out. Because I think this is going to be good for what I want to do. Put the lava on there. Let's get rid of these. Grab my gold banded great wood lot wand. And shift right click. It's not working. What did I do wrong? Infernal brick from Railcraft. The Thaumonomicon is a bit in description of the construction structure. The stair blocks at the top actually need to face towards the middle block with the corners fitting in. Fitting in. Is that not what I have? Why do you no work? Okay, let's try this again now that I got all my robes on. Infernal brick. A three by three. That's what I did. Three by three. My wand's got fifty of every aspect. I don't know, guys. Oh, that was close. I just about lit myself on fire. There we go. So this thing... When you read this, would you not think that meant the stairs need to be the way I had them originally? Like, I don't know. Okay, whatever. Now, does this thing have an interface, or is it like the Infernal? It's like the Infernal Furnace. So, let's go grab a some. So, I think it's over here. How much do I have? Nope, wrong one. Nope, wrong one. Nope, wrong one. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Oh, I got 58 of them. So we're going to throw some of this in, see what it does, and hopefully it works out the way I want it to. I'm pretty sure i got to throw them in the top. 
So I'm going to have to find a way of automating this process. Oops. Oh, it looks like it'd be working. Now what I was thinking was for the output, throw down a hopper hawk and hide that under the ground later on. Do something like that. And hopefully that works. Give me that back. And it looks like it did. So let's see what we got. We got titanium. I can make titanium with rutile ore without having to do the mariculture um, vat trick to get your, what should we call it? Magnesium to mix with the impure titanium to get, to mix with impure titanium which you get from Rutile if you cook it in a normal oven. So that was the whole purpose of this build, basically, was to avoid that step, which will make it a lot faster to make titanium. Because I really, like, I don't know, I think it's cool, but it becomes a pain when you need a lot of titanium, right? So that was why I wanted to go this route was because I didn't like I didn't want to have to set up a system to automate making magnesium basically <clears throat> I don't know how much I can stick in here cool um well with that being done I'm gonna let that stuff cook up I have a hopper hawk to pick it all up when it comes out, I will look into how to make this thing faster. I think I need an aura node with Ignis or putting a jar of Ignis near this thing, I think will work. But yeah, that's, I'm a long ways off of moving nodes yet. So, um, where did I get this stuff from? Right here. That back in there, we get some titanium. Oh. And my warp is kicking in. What was that noise? Something is behind you. Seriously, there must be a way to stop these. Stop these headaches. I don't see nothing behind me. You guys just trying to spook me. There's nothing behind me. 26, that one hasn't gone up, it doesn't really look like anything gone up, like this does work, I know it does, because I didn't have any humus, or humanus, and just me going out and doing all the other stuff, I came back and I had one of these, so yeah, I know this does work, and these all have stars on them now, whereas before they didn't, so uh something in this setup is working so i'm happy with that let's go check on the mob spawner see if we've got anything cool out there i don't think it'll run when i'm this far away from it so i'll probably have to do a bunch of afking oh i was gonna build some golems with you guys oh no ah uh, that's right i wanted to do something else before I did that. Ooh, and apparently I need to light this area up. Cool. So, what's in here? Got some confusion powder, 
some zombie flesh. Yeah, so this system's not great. Like, a lot of stuff's going to end up in here that's supposed to end up in the barrels. But I'm not all that worried about it. Like I said, I'm just going after the zombie flesh. That's my main goal behind this, so. Um, we'll get some glowstones. So we're getting some witches. Cool. Seems to be working for the most part. But with that, guys, I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Um, in between episodes, I'm going to try and get some titanium, maybe set up some more of the Thomcraft room and progress a little bit more into Thomcraft. And then, yeah, I don't know what else to do. Now that I got titanium, I do have one plan for the titanium, which um, is going to make my logistics part of this a lot easier. Um, I may make some golems in between episodes and start automating my farms, the ones that I want to automate. I might do that in an episode, I'm not sure yet. And with that guys, I'm going to wrap up the episode here, so um, if you liked the video, hit that like button for me, helps me out a lot. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, lets you know when I got new videos out. Um, Favorite the video, share it with friends, all that fun stuff. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.